That was super efficient. Wow. Okay, very nice. What's going on guys? If you want to support our content and pick up this month's amazing Patreon rewards, you can do so at patreon.com slash it resolves. If you're interested in custom playmats and sleeves, visit yourplaymat.com and use code itresolves 10 yp for 10% off your entire purchase. What's going on guys and welcome back to another standard gameplay video. Just as a quick reminder, if you are not already, please make sure you subscribe. It really would mean a lot. Any and all support is greatly appreciated. Leave a little thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Make sure if you do subscribe, you hit that little bell. That way you get notified if and we go uh, or post any new videos or anything like that. But let's talk about today's deck guys this is covert go blues orzov clerics deck i want to make sure we're very clear covert go blue is a massive massive youtuber when it comes to the mtg arena world very very strong deck builder and i'm happy to say he shares all of his lists on aether hub and is very kind about that uh and so covert go blue thank you so much for sharing this and putting this up there i really like this deck uh clerics in general i, I think are very good uh, you've got a lot of recursion, a lot of life gain, a lot of actual interaction as well in some ways, uh, and a little bit of tech in there as well with the Pyre of Heroes. But obviously the idea is essentially to gain a bunch of life, hopefully uh, power out some of these clerics, and then if they sweep, if they destroy one of them, hopefully we've got a Skyclave Hier Hier Hierophant. I can say that, I promise. Uh, that brings back some of our other ones. We do have Pyre of Heroes as well, so what's nice about this is if we have both of these out, we can use this, sacrifice a creature, get something back from the graveyard, but also go up in the chain as well uh, with the Pyre of Heroes as well. So very interesting list. I think it's going to be quite strong. Uh, as you can tell, we've got the Lunark Veteran giving us a little bit of uh, graveyard uh, interaction, just something to pull out late game, but also to gain us some life. Uh, this, the Traveling Minister, kind of an interesting card. To be honest, before this deck, I didn't even know that this card existed. It's a 1-1 one, one for 1, but you can give a, a creature plus 1 plus 0 until the end of the turn and then gain a life. Only activate that as a sorcery, but that's okay. I mean, gaining a life is all we need to do, really, and adding a little bit of power, perfectly fine. Uh, Luminarch Aspirant, tried and true classic, no reason not to have that in here. Uh, Skyclave Cleric, gonna enter the battlefield, gonna gain two life, but it's also gonna smooth out our land drops, which is very key, obviously, with a deck like this. Voice of the Blessed, one of the best life gain cards, in my opinion, one of the best payoff cards for life gain in particular, uh, just absolutely strong. Uh, Cleric of Life's Blood, very, very good way to gain a bunch of life as well. Uh, Elite Spellbinder, gonna be able to pull some stuff out of the hand, slow the opponent down. Life gain with the Righteous Valkyrie, a little bit of uh, Skyclave Apparition action so that we can take out some of the stuff on the opponent's side. Again, Agadim's Awakening gonna give us a little bit of a smoother land drop, but also uh, late game we can pull some stuff back with it. Same with Amiria's Call, this is gonna be a really nice way to finish the game, or just a nice land for us. And then like we said, the Hierophant as well, Pyre of Heroes being very good too. So we're gonna send this through a few games here, guys. We're gonna have some fun with it. Again, Covert Go Blue, thank you so much for sharing this list. Let's go see what we can do, guys. Let's have some fun. Here we are, guys, for game number one. Uh, the question is, do we keep this? Um, and I think we do, actually. I think this is pretty solid. So we've got the Cleric of Life's Blood here that we can play on turn two. We've got the Amiria's Call again, helping to smooth out the land drop. So we've got a nice two, three, four. Uh, and hopefully, hopefully, uh, we can make something happen here. Uh, I'll go ahead and lead on the Sanctum since we don't have a turn one play. It's just a safe bet. Perfect. Okay, so let's go ahead and play the Cleric. We do want to get this down as quickly as we can here, I think. Um, and just kind of chain upwards as best we can. They're probably going to kill it. Yeah. <laughs> and again, that's not good or... I mean, it's obviously not good for us, but we do have ways to kind of deal with that long term and get it back. So I'm not terribly worried about it. Um, interesting. Okay. Uh, let's go for... I guess we go for double black. I don't know that we'll need it, but it's good to have access. Uh, let's go ahead and get this out of there. Again, I'm sure they can deal with this, but crucially, we're kind of taking this out of the uh, equation here, which I think is important. Um, although they didn't deal with it. That's fascinating. Okay. Uh, I am going to pay three life here just to get the Hierophant down. May not be worth it, I don't know, but I think what this does is really force them to have to get rid of the Apparition now. Uh, sure. 
but now no matter what we're going to be able to get something back here which i think is important we do have a lot of life gain in the deck so losing three life to the land while never good uh isn't necessarily the end of the world now that's quite scary uh but again i actually think we can deal with it we'll see okay uh let's do this we'll throw that pyre of heroes out there uh i'm gonna throw this out for the land uh we're gonna put a counter here and what this does is offset at the very least the damage from the gold span dragon it's not a lot but it's something so it's gonna keep us in the game hopefully here um and then we can obviously sacrifice the Aspirin if we'd like to later on, or even the, the Skyclave Hero Fan. I mean, that's not a bad option, because what we can do is then pull this back, get rid of this token, and then they basically just got nothing. Um, oh, excuse me, not the token. We can't hit that. Sorry. Non-token permanent. Something to keep in mind. But we can get the Cleric of Life's Blood, which would be quite helpful. The trick is we don't have anything we can get with the Pyre of Heroes after the Skyclave. Um, that's the only downside there is that there's just nothing we can actually pull. But we could get like a Righteous Valkyrie with the Luminarch Aspirant Sacrifice or, you know, something along those lines. Okay, well, they got us there. That's fine. They're going to attack in. All right, down to four. Um, hmm. Curious as to what the best move will be here. I really hope we draw something. Uh, that'd be good. <laughs> uh, Skyclave. Interesting. Okay. Um, well, first things first, we literally like have to attack here. Otherwise, we are just dead. So let's do that. Um, Now we can do some really interesting things here. I don't know if it's going to work very well, but let's do this. We pulled the showdown out, uh, which is something. Um, now we could sacrifice that. That just guarantees they kill us though, I think. So I guess we just wait. I don't know, this isn't great for us. I don't know that we've got a lot of good options here. We do have the Cave of the Frost Dragon, but it costs five just to activate. Uh, and so we're not even there yet. Uh, I think we might just be kind of out of luck here. Ooh, wow, okay, yeah, that's super good. So now they just win. They just have enough to, to kill us here. We don't have flying, unfortunately. Ugh, dang, kind of unlucky draw. We did get all of these Oh, okay, come on. All right, we're gonna concede here. Unfortunately, game one's a loss. Let's move to game two. All right, guys, here we are for game number two. And this is a, in my opinion, a much stronger start. We've actually got to turn one into turn two, into turn three, all of which are kind of some of the best cards that we could ask for. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw that Lunark veteran down. Let's hope for something a little better this time. I have, I have, uh, some optimism on my side i think this time so let's go ahead and play that cleric of life's blood it's gonna immediately get a counter on it which is just good value we'll get an attack in for one uh and then next turn we do have righteous valkyrie available to us so i think we might just go for it they are in doom scar territory i guess which is a little scary but we'll see what we can do uh i am gonna go ahead and do this and get this down now they could have a counter spell here and if they do, that's fine. Uh, the alternative would be, well, we really, we could have just done a thing, but those would have been lesser values. So I think we made the right call. Um, and now we just get to attack in. Easy peasy. Uh, also, really quick guys, while we are uh, waiting on our opponent to decide if they want to flash anything in or do something crazy. Yeah, it looks like they're gonna fading hope. Sure. Uh, just really quick, I do want to um, point out we did a really interesting video yesterday that I highly encourage you guys to check out. We basically gave ourselves a very challenging deck restriction <clears throat> and uh, it was interesting. It was a little rough, I'm not gonna lie, but it was really fun. And so I encourage you guys to check that out. The, the deck restriction this time was to say we can only use spells of one mana uh, or one CMC, which was very, very tricky, um, not, super successful but it was really fun uh again i highly encourage you guys to check to check that out and just have some fun with it because i really do think it's a good time 
Uh, and I love trying out new stuff like that. I think it's, I don't know, it's just kind of different. I'm actually gonna throw the counter here on the veteran. The Valkyrie is very much a target for the opponent and we know they've got fading hopes. So chances are they're gonna bounce it. So let's get the power where it, we know it's gonna connect. Uh, they did scry to the top once more. A little worried about sweeper later on. Um, we'll see, we can actually just power this, this out very quickly here though, which is kind of nice. So we'll see what happens. Um, I've got, I've got hope. There's that Doom Scar, I assume. Um, which is actually okay because we drew this. So I am gonna go ahead and play this veteran out. This is gonna get some counters thrown around. Uh, let's go ahead and play the Hierophant as well. This is just built in protection, uh, which is fantastic. Uh, let's put a counter on the Aspirant. And we'll attack in for a lot. All right. This is about as efficient a game that we could hope for. Again, fully expect that this might be a Doom Scar. It could be a Solid coming, I guess. Um, but I kind of doubt it. Uh, I think they're just going to be able to sweep here. But the trick is, if they kill everything, we get a trigger for each one of these. And so, you know, these two are going to be able to pull these two back. This is going to be able to pull one of these back, uh, which is useful. And there we go. We got the win. That was super efficient. Wow, okay, very nice. Well, let's jump into game three. All right, guys, here we go. This is game number three. And again, a pretty easy keep here. Um, a little bit tricky, but I have hope. Again, we, we've we got all the hope. So let's go ahead, let's throw out that Lunark veteran. Uh, the nice thing about this is we can actually kind of play it a bit slower uh, than we normally would. And I think that that's okay. So. While we don't get the Voice of the Blessed down this turn, the trick is when we do get it down, it's now going to get two counters, not just one. Um, and I think that that's kind of worth it. All right, we do have to get rid of a card here. It's definitely the Awakening in my view. Uh, I don't really think there's any any chance of it being anything else. I will pay three because we're going to gain two here uh, and get two counters on this. Now, again, they can kill this at some point, uh, which is a little scary, but... I think that that's okay. Uh, the question is, do we attack? I'm gonna say no. I don't know that that's 100% correct. We've got added value to these, so it's kind of okay if we do lose it, but... And there they go, they murdered it. Interesting choice with murder. Uh, I feel like not what I expected at all. Uh, let's go ahead and play the Hierophant here. Um, and I think I will attack at this point. We're kind of saving that for the Voice of the Blessed. We don't really have to anymore. Uh, and so I'm all too happy to do that. This gives us an extra play later on in the game as well, which is perfectly fine with me. We didn't play the Elite Spellbinder and that is something that we would like to get down here just to pull some cards out of the hand. Oh, well, fair enough, you got me. Uh, all right. Well, I mean, I think we just do this truthfully. Um, get an attack in with both of these. We will exile the murder, I think. It's just the strongest play in my view. It also gains us a little bit of life here. So I think that that's probably just the maximum amount of pressure that we can we can provide. Looks like they're just going to draw a couple cards here, which is fine. It's not that great. Um, they obviously can just attack for two if they'd like. Oh, interesting. OK. Um, I don't know, I still think, hmm. So we can go ahead and play this. I think we will. Uh, now they can't attack with, or block, excuse me, with this, but I think it's worth it just to uh, see what we can do here. Um, I'm gonna get the, uh, the Aspirant here. That puts a counter here, uh, which in my view is very good because it not only gains us life, but it also puts a lot more pressure on them. Um, and now if they kill either one of these, we've got options we can pull back. We also just have these that we can start to play next turn. So I'm not really worried about this. Oh, that's annoying, but fine-ish. Um, I think we go Spellbinder and Lunar Veteran. Oh. Um, wow, interesting stuff. Uh, I think we get rid of this. 
since this Mask of Grizzlebrand isn't really going to do much at the moment, um, I think that that's just the right call. Alright, let's drop this. Let's gain some life. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, we'll attack in here. We do want to make sure we're doing this in the proper order. Uh, we're going to sacrifice this. They gain a life out of that, but that's fine because now we've got the Hierophant. And again, this is going to gain us some more life. But the trick here is now, again, we're still keeping that setup of if they kill everything, we still get stuff back, which I think is very, very important. Uh, they can just play the mask, I guess, but this is definitely the solid coming in my view. And there we go. We got the win. Fantastic. That was a very, very interesting game. Lots of little nuances. Very much enjoyed that one. Let's jump into a game four. We got some time. All right, guys, here we are. This will probably be our last game, but this is definitely an easy keep. We've got the Lunark Veteran into Voice of the Blessed with Pirate Piros available as well. Uh, so that just seems like a very nice, easy keep. Turn two, we can get that voice down. Hopefully get a couple counters going on it, and then we uh, should be in good shape. Uh, now, one downside here, we, only ha we don't have the black uh, mana up yet, but I actually think that that's okay. We've got ways we can... We can fix that, so that's cool. Um, Pyro of Heroes should be a very interesting one to uh, throw down here. It's another Lunark veteran, which I like quite a lot. Uh, let's go ahead and throw this down. That's going to gain us a life uh, and put another counter on the voice. We will throw that Pyre down to get ready for next turn, and I'm just going to attack in for forward. There's no reason not to um, keep that pressure going on them. Again, we're life gains, so taking three points next turn, meh. That's fine. Uh, we are going to not block, obviously. We're just going to take it, and that way we can Pyro of Heroes away a Lunark Veteran if we'd like. They also have a Voice of the Blessed, which is interesting. Um, curious to see how this goes. Um, they might just be a mono-white version of this list, which is fascinating. Okay. Let's do this. We're going to sack one of these guys. Uh, and let's get, hmm, what do we want to get? Uh, I'm actually going to get the aspirant here. That's going to throw an extra counter on our voice of the bless, so it just kind of keeps things moving forward. Let's go for the phantom as well. Again, throwing extra counters around is very useful in this matchup, so... Let's do that. Uh, and now this also has Vigilance, so the trick is we can block anything that we need to block at this point. All right, cool, you got it. So they do get our Voice of the Blessed off the field here, which is annoying, um, but certainly not the end of the world. And we'll see what happens. Yep, they're gonna get an attack for six in. There's not much we're gonna do about that. We're just gonna take it. Okay, another land. Um, Hmm. Let's throw this down for sure. Um, and I guess the what we need to do, we'll target this, no attacks, and then sacrifice this. It's going to gain us another life uh, to get, I think, Righteous Valkyrie. I think that that's probably the best play. I don't really know. That's a, that's a bit of a tricky one. Um, but I think we were right to get the counter on this first. Uh, we could have gotten, I guess, a, a Skyclave Apparition, but I don't know. That might have been the better play. That might have been a bit of a mistake. I'm thinking life gain in total, and I think that uh, we could have done a lot better had we gone for the Aspirant. We could have dealt with this, uh, or Apparition, excuse me. Wow, very, very good. Um, Okay, uh, what do we do? It's nine damage. That is a lot of damage. Um, I'm going to do this. It might be incorrect, I don't know, but we kind of want to try and save as much as we can. Uh, let's do Lunark Veteran. Uh, let's do this into I think voice or uh lyric of life's blood 
And then let's do this. So we can't just play this. I guess we do. It's not great, but I think that's just our best option. All right. I don't know. We're fighting in this, but I don't feel strongly about it at all. Um, they're going to portable hole on the cleric of life's blood. Yeah. OK. Makes sense. Um, hmm. Interesting, interesting. OK. That's very good. Um, OK. Thinking we're dead, uh, <laughs> which is fine. Um, we're not going to win them all, but my goodness, is this so strong? Uh, I think we don't block, weirdly. Um, that does take away some of our power here, but I think that that's just the right call. So I'm going to do this. Hear me out. We're going to get the Skyclave. It's going to gain us. Uh, now we're going to do this. Does this only get us a one drop or a two drop? A two drop. OK. Um, get you, I guess. Uh, we'll drop this. And now we're pretty dead. I don't I mean, we're not 100 percent dead, but we're we're pretty close. We're pretty close. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> uh, three game variant step exile. OK, that's very good. Um, interesting, interesting addition there. I kind of like that like a lot. It's really cool. All right. Yep, we're going to take a big hit down to eight. Uh, that's absolutely terrifying. Um, Is it the Skyclave? Because they can get the Hierophant with it. That's really annoying. That's very good. Uh, they can repeat and bounce this. That's very, very good. Wow. OK. Uh, yeah, that was very solid, honestly. Um, So if we do this, get a Skyclave Apparition. We definitely should have done that earlier. That was a 100% a mistake. Um, now we do this. All the life gain stuff goes off. Then we do this. Yeah. Um, I think I'm going to do this, weirdly. Do we not have anything? Oh, man. Well, that was a mistake. Uh, should have been looking, but I guess I thought we uh, we could do that. I guess not. My mistake. 100%. Wow. So they just have to pick two. Uh, yeah, I'm going to good game them. They definitely got this. Uh, we'll pull that back. Like, Valkyrie is good, but not that good. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, hmm. They keep dealing with our Hierophants, which is very, very good uh, on their end. So they're going to put a counter here so they can get an attack in with it. Two counters, excuse me. They've got double. Um, Hmm. I'm curious as to why they blocked or they attacked with the 2 2. That seems a little odd. Um, look, again, we're a life gain deck, so I have to. But yeah, see, they're going to do that. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to concede. They got it. They just can repeat and bounce that Skyclave apparition. There's like nothing we can do about that. All right. Let's chat about the deck. 
All right, so first again, I just want to say a huge thank you to Covert Go Blue. Uh, go check out Covert's channel. Obviously, a much bigger channel than we are, but does tons and tons of gameplay and is very creative with his deck building. Uh, and thank you again for sharing this list on Aether Hub. I really do appreciate it. This is a very fun list. Um, obviously, I think it's taken a slight turn down in the meta. Uh, whereas previously, I mean, we've had clerics around for quite a while, so uh, we've played versions of this list prior to this, um, and I do think it's been much better in the past and maybe not quite as good now, uh, but it is still a very solid list. I mean, once you get that game plan executed, it's very difficult to deal with it because that Hierophant's just gonna allow you to bring stuff back. Uh, you've got so much life gain that the aggro decks tend to have a rough time, but I think lately we've seen a lot more control uh, take into the standard best of one meta and so what I have seen at least has been a very difficult matchup for this kind of list where if they're controlling the game each step of the way there's not a ton you can do um, and that's okay there's also a lot of other competitive life gain decks out there right now I mean we just saw that last deck uh, kind of do the same thing but it was a mono white version and there's a lot of tech that you can deal with uh, or reutilize, I will say, in different versions of these lists. So very curious to see if maybe there's a different version of this that would be really good. Uh, I, we did try an Abzan life gain deck as well, which was very fun. Uh, in fact, I think it was a Clerics deck in particular, but regardless, very fun list. I certainly hope you guys enjoyed this one. I really do. Covert Go Blue again, thank you so much. Link will be down in the description if you would like to go check out Covert's channel. Please do. They're amazing. They are, we aspire to be what they are. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Please feel free to subscribe, like the video if you enjoyed it. We'll see you again very soon.